Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga, and today I'll be playing the final blitz with zero seconds increment on lead chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now, before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get. If I get white, I'll play the London system. We've got the black pieces, I'll play the Karo Khan defense. Which starts with c6, followed by d5. And this turns into advanced variation, so the opponent is pretty much aware. I uh, don't want to leave this. So that's the most challenging line in the Karo Khan. And then you develop the bishop. You can take this pawn. If he takes with the bishop, Proceed with the pawn and block the diagonal of the bishop by pulling e6. And then develop your knight on d7. The bishop can now pin the knight. Probably helpful. I'm not sure. I don't know, need to bring it back because he's willing to advance his pawns. So I'll bring it directly back to e7, not on. A5. No let what opponent is trying to do. He would have happily pushed the pawn forward, gaining more space on the queen side. Then I return here, and there's no use. He still does that. He'll probably go with the knight now, threatening uh, attack on the bishop. The bishop goes there. I can bring it back. I don't want to take it. I want him to take it. If he takes, which he does, I take with the edge pawn. The edge file gets open up for the attack now if he castles that's bad news for him and i can play let's go with the knight knight on h6 we are not looking to castle so it's completely fine um not interested in his knight for sure can attack his bishop or and from where let's go in the center only more controlling square Probably take on his bishop there. That was looking nasty. Takes with the pawn. Uh, the pawn is under attack. If I safeguard the pawn, which I have to, I'll move the pawn forward. Probably comes even over here on b6. If he does, then queen. Probably end up exchanging the knight and the pawn with the bishop if he comes down now. So, not a good option, I would say. Technically, queen, no, he still do, does that. I said not a bad, not a good option for him because he loses a pawn in the process. Probably didn't want to go back, so that's why he does that. Going back is not a bad option at all. I'm going with the knight or I should just castle, move the pawn forward maybe or defend it with the rook. Lots of moves available. Can't do anything here. Let's play solid. A rook on the c-file. Queen comes in. There's no checkmate threat to be noticed. So I can just play queen here. Let's see what, if he, do what he does now. He wants to exchange queens. I'm pawn up, so I don't mind that. I'll solidify my pawn sucks in the center as well. I can also castle. Castle, castle, castle. Yes, let's castle. Okay, he throws the pawn there. Knight comes to an active square, attacking the pawn. Which he defends, and now rook comes into the attack. If he says with the other rook, he loses the pawn there. Says with the king, that's why. Mm, just realized I had two rooks. No, just kidding. Oh, he disconnects my rooks. That's nice. And nah, that fork won't help. Check my help. 
depends on where he goes goes there i can still attack with my knight can i now that comes with a folk then ah this knight is annoying i need to take it sadly got the pawn so nice enough compensation i would say knight over here loses any retrieval square so i have to make a better move here which is knight onto d5 if he now aligns the rooks then rook to c7 defending the pawn well actually knight is defending that okay let's attack his pawns uh with the knight as well he might win another pawn here this time this one He takes, takes, he attacks the knight, I go and defend the pawn. So that's a rook versus knight end game. I need to take my king towards the other side of the board. This my pawns can handle. I have to go only here. Travel here. I can take that comes with a fork if he does oh saved it just saved it on time okay let's play the pawn forward I my knight is being attacked I can defend my pawn as well this way it's pretty good plus two the spawns are weak a check and I can take on this pawn as well, edge, but then I lose my center pawn, which I don't want to happen. You can proceed with the pawn. Two pawns are pretty strong. Okay, I can just bring the king up, but then he goes down. So I'll play pawn forward first. Knight is guarding the pawn, if you saw um let's take i have to another option he takes with the rook i have to go up tricky end game which can go either ways goes back a uh, check i'll just try to take the pawn at least uh my knight my knight my knight has a retrieval which is the same square Oof. tricky if i had more time this is completely winning not sure that if i can win it from here as well let's play the pawn forward pressure of pawns I had a video on that i'll place the link in the description below and on top let's see where he goes attacking the pawn on the bottom can i play pawn forward let's play king let's be more gentle okay let's go ahead okay let's go ahead how is he stopping my queen Queen is coming on the board. Queen comes. He takes. I take. I have a knight. I have a pawn. This should be winning. Okay. Oh, that pawn was hanging. Nah, I didn't see that. Nah, it's a draw. It's a dead draw now. Let's go here and draw it. I uh, was winning though earlier. Didn't see that pawn was not defended, otherwise, could have done something about it. Was losing out on time too, so probably, yeah, we'll settle for a draw. Nice game. A uh, couple of things we noticed uh, were let's analyze the game and see what all things can be done better as well. Side of a d4, opponent, I played c6, uh, opponent plays e4, d5. 
advanced variation of the Karukan. Bishop comes out on f5. Open plays c4 here. Who's calling one second? Sorry for the disturbance. Um, and the opponent plays c4. I take. Takes back to the bishop. I play e6. Knight plays f3, and then I develop my other knight on d7. Connecting now, attacking the knight, pinning it uh, with the bishop. Here, my opponent uh, plays pawn to a3. I bring back the bishop, plays b4. I go with knight to b6, attacking his bishop. Bishop goes back. I bring, bring bishop back to g6. He takes, which is a bad option, I would say, because after I take back, the h file is opened up. Uh, yes, double pawns, but h file is helpful. Um, then getting the knight out. Can exchange the knights, but no. It's going to center as well is a good option. Stockfish is still analyzing which move is better, probably taking the knight, because that puts his queen in the corner and pretty helpless as well. But I went with knight to center, d5, attacking his bishop. I took on the bishop there. He takes with the pawn. Computer says, think you can play pawn forward. Yes, that's what I do, do in the game. He plays knight to b6, 7 now. Queen comes up. He goes there. Loses another pawn there in the process. So black is dominating here. And the, rook, and the pawn with the c8, uh, rook to c8. Always helpful. And now here I went with the queen exchange, which he does. And I take back with the pawn, opening up the c file. He castles. I also do the same. He plays b5. I would say massive move. I bring the knight on f5 to more active square. He plays rook to c3. Sorry, f3. And I play rook c3. He brings in up the king. I could have played pawn for it, okay. But I connected my rooks, which he then annoys me by playing knight to c3. I give a check. I finally went on with the exchange because I was getting a pawn extra, so completely fine. Here, also, if you see, black is still ahead in the game. 0.7, which is decent enough. And we're looking to an end game where I just wanted to dominate, but unfortunately i think most part i did but i couldn't convert it into a win i got extra pawn there why well, i didn't have to take this I to play pawn forward ah that was the problem after i take he gets his rook active i go here proceeding with the game quickly yes i had he closed the situation on the other side so i just had to move Towards my oh, there's a fork I missed. Finding this this fork every time in the game when it was there, I didn't see that. I was losing. On forward, still I'm ahead in the game. I'm still thinking where did I blundered? I moved the correct pawn. Still a4 is nice. Took on the pawn. This is also okay. King to c6, best move. Black is dominating 7, 7 approx here, 7.4. I took the knight on the wrong direction. I had to just continue with my pawns, but still that's okay, I would say. I took on the pawn, I go back with the knight, check, I move other side. It goes on the wrong side of the board, I'm continuing. He takes on a pawn there, I go ahead, he gets... His rook on the a file. I'm going above. I could have saved my pawn as well. Mm, okay, which I didn't. So, okay, I got my queen. I took on the rook as well. That's completely winning. I just had to move my knight and take on that pawn instead of getting my king grabbed. That's also fine. Completely winning here. What is the move here, which I missed? Ah, I didn't have to, damn it. Pawn was guarded, I just had to go here, then he has to move his king. And then I can just move my knight. And eventually I'll take this pawn. Ah, winning position converted into a dead draw. Gosh, I need to improve. But yeah, that's how things go in chess. You have to 
be aware till the end. I wasn't at the end, so I made a blunder out of it. But yeah, otherwise I dominated the game throughout. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Uh, let me know if you'll enjoy playing Karukan, if you do or not. If you play against the advanced variation, how do you play it? Uh, any better moves that you can suggest me? Uh, feel free to acknowledge. And yeah, please do like the video. Do subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon. And keep watching. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.